Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and today we're going to look at something that can save you a lot of money if you're just cabling your house. You want to set up a network in your house. It's a do-it-yourself type of thing. It doesn't take a lot of skill or, or experience or expensive tools, things like that, uh, to put in a, some uh, your own network. And in this case, uh, I'm going to turn this surface mount box into a very nice professional-looking uh, patch panel. And, of course, this is six port. You can see it. You know, there's six ports there. Um, and if you need more, you just use two of these. Uh, but usually a house has no more than 12 outlets on a normal house. So you're going you're gonna to see things like this there. Now, when I go out on the Internet and I look up patch panels for uh, home use and things like that, I'm seeing rigs that are, like, huge, huge uh, as far as price and equipment and technology and, par and tools that are needed to put in cabinets that are worth three or four hundred five hundred dollars that are you know that have uh, stained glass in the front or smoked glass in the front so you can see all the lights flashing inside and things like that and that costs a lot of money plus it takes up a lot of space and it's kind of ugly in most houses you're going to find your cables are in the master um, bedroom uh, most new houses that have been cabled in the last well, let's say 20 years that's usually where the contractor puts all the cables, gathers them together there. And of course, they got this little fancy box there. And, and we sell that little fancy box, but you know something? It's not necessary. And on top of that, uh, there's a lot of specialized parts that go into that fancy box. And what I'm going to show you is pretty standard, pretty standard stuff that uh, you can buy on our website, cablesupply.com. And uh, you can turn into the, uh, you know, the application that you need. And so anyway, this is called a surface mount box, and uh, they come in different ports. This is a six-port surface mount box, and so uh, it can put six jacks in there, or you can put six of other things that I'm going to show you today. But let's snap it open and see what it looks like, okay? So first, you, you just put a screwdriver in there, and it snaps open really easy. Just I'm going to put this aside for now. Uh, but we're going to look at the base and the base has a couple things here. First of all, obviously on the inside There's nothing. It's just a piece of plastic It's going to hold what you need held and it has these little saddles here for the cables that are coming out and of course if you look at the the uh, the cover you notice it has knockouts if you need more room for the cable to go through and of course it it covers it It has little indentations here and we're going to talk about those also so what I'm going to do here is help you this is like DIY. This is something that anyone can do. You don't have to be a cabling IT expert to be able to do these things. And this is part of a series of uh, DIY uh, for your home network. So let's take a look at some of these things. First of all, just a jack. This is an RJ45 jack and it's used for Ethernet uh, networks um, and uh, uh, home networks, uh, this is the standard, and this is a 5E, Category 5E, and in another video we talk about the categories and make recommendations as to which category you should use in your home, and, and it's just a recommendation. You, there's a couple you can use, to, a couple different, but I'll give you my opinion. I've been doing this for a long time. And we're also going to have a video on how to punch these down. But let's assume that this is already punched down and you want to install this. Well, on these keystone jacks, they're, they're all square, square and they're all standard and they fit every other keystone uh, piece of equipment. And uh, so if you see anything that says keystone or you see little squares, you know, they're all universal. It's a standard. It's not a manufacturer. Key, it's not a company called Keystone, even though there might be a company out there called that. But when you hear about Keystone RJ45 jacks, it's because they are keystone. It's the standard, it's the square, it's the size of the square, it's these little hooks here on either end and how they hook up and, and how they punch down and everything else. And it's also called a 110 punch down, by the way, but we'll discuss that later when we're dealing with uh, the cables that actually attach to this. But all you do is you this little clip here, you push down, and you'll hear it snap, hear it? And now it's in place, and now you got a little jack there. And you can change the colors of the jacks if you want. Like here is a, uh, what is this? This is a Cat 6, Category 6 uh, jack, as you can see. And it's just the same as the uh, other jacks, but it's a, um, a higher quality jack. It passes more data through it and all. So it just goes in like this again, and it snaps in, and now you have two jacks. So the next thing is, that you can put in there, is this little uh, coax cable. Um, and 
Uh, coax, a lot of times people have cable homes and things like that. And you can populate this all with jacks, or you can populate it with a uh, uh, with coax cable, and then you can use it as a coax cable patch panel. It's pretty much up to you. These are all sold on the website. But it goes in here, and it snaps in. And then next is HDMI. HDMI. Um, uh, connector and it goes right in there also now, a little awkward here the way I'm hanging over the computer and all I mean the camera uh, but that's what it looks like and that's your HDMI so you can have a bunch of HDMI some people uh, put these six port patch panels behind their TV and uh, they got all their HDMI outlets there and everything else and it makes it permanent and all they need to do is patch it in and then you got this little neat device that you don't see much. A lot of people aren't aware of this. And this is a pass-through, it's called. And let me show you what a pass-through does. Is If you notice, it's an RJ45, but it's a, a, a Cat5e and Cat5e on this side. And you can attach two patch cords. Well, why would you want to do that? Well, if you use this in this type of setup, you can just use a patch cord here. You don't have to have a cabling or anything else. And if it's a short run, I would say under 100 feet, you could just use a patch cord, 100 foot patch cord, as your cabling uh, device rather than, um, you know, rather than um, what they call IW inside wire. It comes in a thousand foot box, a solid copper uh, strands. It's not stranded, it's solid. And uh, that goes in there. And therefore, you don't have any punch down, and you just use a patch cord from here. Uh, going to the computer uh, or switch or router and we'll talk about switch and routers in another video and why uh, You know how how to use them why you need them in your network and then of course, you know Let's say you got an open hole here. Well the aesthetics there. I mean you can leave it open who cares, right? But these are very inexpensive these little um, uh, Devices here. So what you do is you take it and you slide it in just like everything else, and then you end up with a really nice uh, present a presentation here. And this is your patch panel. Very flexible. Now, when you go with some of the other things I've seen on the internet where they have 24, 48-port patch panels and a, a data rack or a data cabinet, and they have all sorts of wire management issues and stuff like that, you don't have the flexibility. It's, it's, it's going to be 48 ports of... Uh, of uh, RJ45s and here you have multiple different types of applications that can go in this little uh, six port uh, surface uh, mount box and one of the things with a surface mount box is that it does mount on the surface so one of the ways you do that and it comes with these little double-sided tapes like this so you rip them off you attach them to the back of the of the uh, six port um, device six port a surface mount box and then it, it sits there like this and again you're going to want it sideways you're, you're not going to want to put it in an upright position like this you know up against the wall and it's going to go up and you know what happens dirt comes down and it gets into all these little devices here and it makes it difficult i've seen other people put surface mount box and face them towards the ground but they're hard to see that way so the way i recommend that you do it is that you attach it to the wall uh, vertically like this and um, and it sticks and those little sticky pads will uh, keep it to the wall now you just can't leave it like that the sticky pads are there just to hold the device in place until you put the screw through them and the reason I say that is it looks great and everything else and you think you're done and I've seen technicians do this where they put a surface mount box on and they use the sticky little pads and then as soon as they're done with the sticky, with the whole thing, with the sticky pads there, they walk away. And then in about two or three weeks or two or three months, the darn thing falls off the wall. So you don't want to do that. You just want to um, use this temporarily to hold it in place until you can put some screws through it. It comes with screws. I always use drywall screws. This is a drywall screw. And you can use it for basically just about anything you want to use it for. Uh, because they're so good. They go into drywall, they go into wood, and they really hold. And... Uh, but that's a personal preference. It does come with screws of its own. It also comes with tie wraps or zip ties, whatever you want to call them. And they go through these little areas here. 
Yeah, it's just not going to work for me today. They go through these little areas, feed them through. <laughs> Only on the camera. Every other time it works great. So when your cable comes out of here and it goes through here, then you can tie it down with your zip tie. You can put it in there and tie it down and cinch it down. So if anyone hits the cable or the cable's exposed and someone hangs something on it, it's not going to rip out of your jack. So that's what these little saddles are for. And that's what the tie wraps or the zip ties that they give you uh, are for. So once you're all done and you got it all mounted, and I'm just going to move this stuff out of the way, you put the cap on. Now, if you have all jacks in there, sometimes it's hard to identify which jack goes to where. And that's where this thing comes in handy. I have multiple color tape. It's on the website. And uh, I've used this all the time to mark cables. When, now, listen, I don't write on cables or things like that when it's a big install. But this is a home uh, office, uh, your home, your small office, things like that. This is where this application fits. This is where it works. So what I do is I take that and I use these little slots here. And so let's say I want this one, uh, this, this blue one right here, I want to identify it as a red faceplate that's attached to the wall. So on the wall, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put also a little, little thing of tape on it. So I walk into the into the study there and I see there's a jack on the wall and I say to myself I wonder what jack that is I look and it's red and I come out here and I say oh there it is it's right there of course you can write your numbers on there with a sharpie that will work also I find out that the color coding is just nicer it's also when you pull cable sometimes people don't know how to identify the cable it's actually pretty easy but if you're not doing it every day you don't know how to do it you just use tape use a colored tape sometimes I use that on my HDMI um, Cable. So if I'm going to plug in, you know, an HDMI cable, let's say here, then I take the cable itself and put red on it and plug it in. So if it ever comes out, I know it goes right back in there. So that's how you do it. It's a really nice system. It works really well. Uh, it's very, very inexpensive. You're not going to be paying two or three hundred dollars like like some of these other people on the internet are suggesting. I don't know what they're thinking. This is just home networking. This is not. IBM with mainframes in the other room and you got to cross connect, you know, uh, you know, three or four thousand uh, different uh, uh, cables. No, this is what you, you should use in your home. This is uh, what I have used over the years when I cable some pretty high end homes here in Southern California that are right there on the beach or, or up on the hills. Um, and it's very inexpensive. It looks very professional when you're done. All the cables are coming out the back nice and neat. They're going into the wall things like that. So, um, you know, this is what I use. If I need more than six, obviously, I just buy two or three, and I, I just line them up nice and neat, and I, uh, you know, I can put in whatever I want. I really like the coax in because a lot of uh, cable TV companies obviously produce coax uh, uh, to the TV, and that's one of the things I use. <coughs> and I can also have different color jacks, and you see three different color jacks here. Um, that's actually not a jack, that's a, a, a pass-through. And so all these things are on my website. And, uh, you know, just uh, take a, a look at the website and, and what it can do for you. There's a lot of parts. Uh, I have been in the IT industry for 40, over 40 years now. And I own a, a company that installed over 6,000 locations throughout the United States. And these little, uh, little doodads like this, little ideas, save people a lot of headache and a lot of money and uh, um, you know think about it anyway we have a we have many videos in this series the diy series and i'm going to be producing them on a regular basis try to save you some money in your home office uh, small office small office home office soho uh, or your home and uh, it works really well it's professional it will uh, certify just as well as any other patch panel that's out there. And it does the job you need, but it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. And it's not going to take up the tons of room and, and all this other stuff that you need. And you don't need professional installers to do this. This is pretty much something you can do yourself. And um, it really looks good uh, when it's all done. Again, this is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, if you get an opportunity, please uh, subscribe and please uh, like the video. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get more subscribers on there. Um, 
But I do appreciate you watching the video, and uh, you have a good day, and I'll see you on the next video.